Hi, Lara. My name is Ruben Peralta from Cocalecas.net. How are you? Hey, Ruben. How are you doing? Nice to talk to you. My pleasure. I watched your movie last night. Uh, from the first sequence, I, I asked myself, why these people do this? And now that you went through the whole processing of filming this amazing film, why do you think these people do this? Because did you watch the second sequence? Did you watch the whole film or did you? The whole thing. <laughs> I watched the whole thing and I like how did you manage you let people know that something happened at first, but then you develop the story so we can relate to it, to the characters. Uh, and then, I, I, you know, I don't want to say anything, but like we get to know the characters. And, and But for me, the first sequence, how do you do it? Did you show the whole thing? To me, it's like, why she's doing this? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. So it was, uh, th this was in 2017, this uh dive and it was shot on a drone Alessia Zucchini is a is a world record record holding uh free diver and and free diving isn't something that I knew anything about when I started making this film I had to google what is free diving and we could have started the film with a whole lot of voices saying this is a sport where you're in this you know and we I just didn't want to do that because you can't you, you know you need to feel what it is in your body and what I felt when I saw this shot for the first time was, well, first of all, I, I, I tried to go along with it myself and hold my breath, which I wasn't able to do for very long. Um, and then I was just in awe of what, what she was doing, going, wow, she's doing great. And I was like, God, yeah. she's still going. And, and really the only way to communicate, uh, to show an audience and to bring them in and for it to feel immersive is to be with her for every single second of the dive. Um, and to experience the length of time, what three minutes really is when you're holding your breath. It feels a lot longer. And also when you're diving to the bottom of the ocean. Um, it was just the only way we could. There was no point in me starting this story anywhere else, uh, telling the audience anything else until they they had that in their body. And, and also what I love that you use the wide angle, that you make me feel that I'm I'm going down with her, knowing that I'm in my house. But like I got anxious just in in in, in those four minutes, and and also how do you develop? How do you present the characters? Like we get to know both of them. One of them uh, go through to be safety, and the other one is chasing uh, her dreams. How do you uh the how was that connection with their families while you were making this movie, and how did you perceive them if if, if everything was worth it? Yeah, so I suppose one of the things that really like became apparent when I lifted lifted the lid a little bit on on Stephen and Alessia's kind of uh, what they were, what they really wanted out of you know their lives and what they were willing to sacrifice, you know, whether it be you know settling down at home with Stephen or or you know. Um, uh, I suppose Alessia's dad and the worry that he had at home watching her, you know, descend uh, into the darkness and disappearing and having to wait um, until she came back up. It was um, it just was a really uh, so, something that kind of challenged uh, the perception of of what what someone wants their life to be um, and what what they were willing to do. And and then it was about for me the challenge was um because it's two people's lives that making it feel like one story and each of every time I put it going through the story and, and and trying to piece it together myself I could see this like call and response between Stephen and Alessia it's like she needed something he almost had too much of it he needed something she had too much of it and it was just there like it was just it kept presenting itself when you just kind of looked like slightly deeper under the surface like it was just there they there was like they were each other's missing piece in a way and you just knew going through the story you knew that once they met something incredible was going to happen um and and of course it did and and, and they went on to to you know really push the boundaries of human limits but also like just had this incredible connection that um just seemed like really special and i also loved how do you create the the competition with the japanese uh uh diver too so lara uh 
congratulations. It's a great film. I truly enjoy it, and I, I'm sure that I want to watch it again. Thank you so much. It's really nice talking to you. And I believe we've shot some of it in, in your neck of the woods as well. <laughs> it, it looks like. It looks like. Yeah, we did. But, but thank you so much, and uh, hope to see you again. You too. Thank Bye-bye. you. Bye-bye.